How's it going, everybody? And welcome to Cub Fans Minecraft. And some of you might have wondered why I haven't been releasing Let's Play episodes this week. And one of the major reasons is this server right here. This is called the Battle for Conway Castle. And it's a uh, server with custom plugins. And it's, uh, to be honest, one of the best servers I've ever played on. Uh, I'll show you what the gameplay is about in a second here. It's basically uh, team versus team. I'm currently on the blue team, battling against the red team. Uh, it's a pretty big server. See, there's quite a few people on right now. You can see who's on uh, which team. But basically how this works is there's two classes. Swordsman, where you get uh, iron sword, four ladders, and stake. And also uh, iron armor. And there's also the archer class, where you get uh, an enchanted infinity one power one bow, enchanted sword, uh, wood sword, ladders, infinite arrows, and then uh, a bunch of stake, and also leather armor. And basically what you do is you battle against people, uh, against the red team, to control this castle. So I'm going to do the swordsman class. And again, these are all custom plugins. So we're going to go ahead and go into battle. Uh, blue indicates that the blue team controls it. Red indicates the red team controls it. So let's go ahead and teleport in there. And it might be a little laggy, so if I am, uh, if I die, don't, uh, don't hate on me. Yep, see that? Simple as that. Just got killed. So it's a completely uh, PvP server. There's no mobs in here. And let's see if we can find somebody. Yeah, but this is the uh, this is the server here. See some red archers over there, so we got to be careful. But basically, what happens is uh, if you stand close to a flag, uh, basically on the top part here, you can capture this flag, and you'll see there's a red player over here. I don't want to go down. Yeah, there's a red player over there. And as he, the longer he stands there, the more the blue flag comes down. And then it will be neutralized. And then eventually they'll capture that. Unless we go over there and take him out. Uh, the flags stay there. Stay up here. Like say, for example, if I left the area, it would stay at this area, this uh, this height. And there's uh, there's catapults, and this guy is trying to shoot me right now. Get behind a wall here. We should probably go down and try and overtake that castle. Yep, and you regenerate health, or you regenerate uh, yeah health like normal. Hunger is the same, same way. So we'll just run over here, go this way. Let's see if we can take something back from red, or we'll raise this blue flag higher help this guy out over here and yeah it can create some uh, pretty interesting uh, battles over here take this guy out yes got him sweet all right let's go to the top and see if we can take down this this tower and yeah see that's those are some of the catapults and I'll show you that if if it's possible in a second here we gotta get up to this top of this tower though. Let's eat something here. Apparently the red player is right there. Yep. Ah, balls to it. Yes, got him. Sweet. Yeah, so it's basically just a huge uh, PvP map. Ah, darn it. Uh, let's see, let's go to the uh, catapult area, if we can. Yeah, we should be able to get down here. And yeah, there's uh, some custom, you'll see some damage from some catapults. And they actually, red starts outside the castle, have to make their way in. Bring it on. Bring it on. That's right. That's right. Oh, come on. Ridiculous. Uh, it also keeps your stats. So if you type slash my stats, you can see I got 660 kills to 411 deaths. So not, not too bad right now. And let's go here. Yeah, so we'll come out here and we'll go down. 
and I'll show you like the town outside. This is just one of three maps. I'll try and show you a little bit of each map here. If I survive long enough. Get out of here. Yes. <laughs> so good. Alright, let's get to the front of the castle here. This thing controls the, uh, the drawbridge, drawbridge down there, so if I hit this lever, it opens up the, uh, the castle gate. So that's kind of cool. But we're going to close that so Red can't get up easily if they decide to come this way. But yeah, let's go ahead and go down this way. And hopefully not die. Yeah, sweet. So come this way, you'll see these catapults out here. And this bugger is going to try and kill us. So we got to shake and bake here. Too slow, sucker. That's right. That's right. Bring it. Bring it. That's right. Sit down, sucker. Yeah, so I'm going to make sure no one's around here. Doesn't look like it. Except you just respawn right there. But yeah, let's go down this way. So I can show you what this is about. Not have to worry about this guy, even though he'll probably follow me. Let's see. Yeah, so you can uh, change the angle of these cannons. And then once you have the right angle, and aim it left or right. You launch it, and it launches the projectile up. And explodes over there. And you can knock people off with this pretty easily. And also destroy parts of the building if you're the uh, invading team. Let's go up here. We'll do something like like this. Except there's a red dude up there now. I think we got him. Yep, we got him. Yep, so now that we're up here, you'll see the blue flag will start to go up. And whoever has the most flags at the end of the, uh, the match wins. Alright everyone, and uh, blue team lost that one, but now I'm on red team. Uh, and they're going to switch the map up now. So this map's pretty awesome, it's called the Mines of Moria. So I'm just going to wait until uh, the lag dies down here a bit. But basically, uh, this is an awesome map based on Lord of the Rings. So check this out. I'll probably lag out here for a little bit. Maybe not. It's pretty smooth so far. But yeah, this is an epic, epic map. So I'll just show you some of this. And in this map, you go along, and if you're nearby this, these flags start to appear. Uh, and basically, once these these flags grow to full size, uh, which is about up to I think it's four four or five long. They turn bright red and your team captures it and then you can spawn there uh, after you die. But yeah, this is like a Lord of the Rings type map. Which is pretty awesome. So we're going to keep moving here. And we'll come this way and we'll go up up top. Yeah, I see some guys already climbing these ladders. But yeah, this is an epic, epic map here. <laughs> you shall not pass. Yes, we, yes, we shall. I doubt that seriously. So this is supposed to be like the mines of Moria here. Uh, there's lava at the bottom in some spots. And these are all based off of actual places in Lord of the Rings. And I should probably, someone should probably stop and stay there, but I'm going to keep pressing on. And you'll see some pressure plates around here on, at certain spots, and those actually open up uh, holes your opponent can fall down as they cross some of these, uh, these pressure points. Like right here, there's sometimes a hole there. Yep, shoot. Ha <laughs> ha. Yep, well, good demonstration of the hole. So yeah, and let's see how we're doing. So we've pushed all the way to here. And now there's probably a battle going on there, so let's go ahead and
teleport to this point here. And yeah, these these pressure plates here open up those those holes. So let's press forward. All right, so yeah, we've now overtaken uh, their flag, so now they can no longer spawn here. So essentially, we've taken this. Now I can push on to the next area. It's pretty awesome. Uh, it's a pretty awesome, like ledge here. You have to battle across, and there's there's a top route you can go, and there's a bottom route you can go. So they've really put a lot of thought into all these maps, and they're all really, really uh, well put together, and really makes you think about how you're gonna attack the other team. There's a bunch of different strategies you can you can go for. Uh, that's not one I'd recommend though. So yeah, now we have blue pretty much surrounded. Uh, we just gotta get across this bridge, and red is also attacking from their from blue's old base. So I think we got this pretty much wrapped up. And I'm gonna try and get across this bridge without dying. And I knocked that guy off. That was nice. Bring it. Got him. Beast in it. Going solo into the base. Bring it. Bring it. Ah. Uh, that's alright. I took out like three or four guys with me. So it's cool. I think we're going to get it. I think we are going to get this. As long as we can get the flag to recognize we're attacking, blue won't be able to spawn again because we have all the other spots uh, secured. So I think we are going to win this. Alright guys, so red team won that game. The last game there. And looks like I'm on red team again. And this time we start outside of this different castle and try to storm our way in. So I'll show you a little bit of this map as well. Yeah, so we spawn here. Got some siege towers going on. Also have some more catapults that launch projectiles. And you see those there. Yeah, you can you can see them for a minute and they disappear because uh, they go outside of the chunks that were loaded there. But typically, you can see them the whole way. You see these huge things flying through the air, and it's pretty awesome. So yeah, we're trying to storm the castle here. And we got some ladders, so we're gonna try and build our way up. Too many people here. Get out the way. Put down the ladders. Go, go, go. We're in. We're in. We're in. We're in. Yes. Haha. -ha. That's half the battle right there. All right. Let's try and make our way up to the top of one of these, one of these castles. And this is again a capture of the flag type thing, but this is a different castle. Uh, it's a different map. Little, slightly different features. So, it's pretty cool. Hopefully there's no blue players up here. Nope. And we're going to knock out these ladders. And we're up, and this blue flag is going to start coming down. And you'll see this is a different different thing. There's like a little town out here where people can battle. Uh, another drawbridge there. And yeah, just a, a huge castle. There's a huge keep in there, which is pretty awesome. I'll try and show you that if I can, but right now we're just going to try and secure this top thing here. There's catapults on this uh, on this castle too. Somebody's coming up. Oh, it's blue. Oh, we're not blue. Huh. That's right. Back down. Back down, sucker. Oh my god. And this is there's a catapult up here which you can fire. Ah. Uh, Got him. Yes. So now we control the catapult. Uh, but I'm going to keep going. And let's see. 
Which way is the keep? I think the keep is just, yeah, the keep is right here. And there's a gate which can uh, dictate who, who can get in and out, pretty much. And we're going to see if we can capture the keep right now. So we'll make our way down to the base level here. There's like a courtyard out here. And blue still controls a lot of this, so. Yep, they're opening and closing the gate. Gotta wait for... Come on, Red. Come on, Red. Open it. Open the gate. God dang it. Haha, <laughs> hit and run. Hit and run. That's how we do it. Open it again. I dare ya. I dare ya. That's right. That's right. Oh, he got lucky. Oh, I actually did kill him. I was killed by somebody else. I see how it is. Yep, so this is the map as it currently stands. That's the keep right there. Where my cursor is under, so blue still controls that. But as you can see, we've gotten into the into the tower, into the castle. And we control some catapults and also that tower there. So that's pretty cool. All right, everybody, got that sweet kill via snipe, and I'll go ahead and provide the link for the IP uh, for this server in the description, and I should note that you don't need any other types of uh, mods or anything to play on the server. This is just uh, totally vanilla. It's done via plugins, so you don't need anything special to play on the server, but I think that's going to be all for me today, guys, so thank you for, very much for watching. This has been Cup Van. Goodbye.